here guys and gals this is barbie figaro with rise marketing and design.com and thank you so much for watching my video well if you're a content creator like me meaning you are using content marketing as a strategy to drive free organic quality traffic to your offers You've probably been where I've been a lot of times, and that is struggling with content writers block or content creators block. That means that you're really not sure what content you should be creating that will get the highest response rate from the audience that you are trying to target. I've been there, done that, but I don't have the t-shirt. Anyway, in this video, what I want to do is I want to share with you my cool surefire secret strategy that's going to help you create the right content every single time for the audience that you are trying to target and you don't have to have a crystal ball you don't have to do guesswork you are going to get the exact type of content that you need to start creating so that you can serve your audience in the highest possible way. So if you want to learn what this secret content strategy is that will yield the highest conversions every time, then keep on watching. guys and gals again this is barbie figueroa with rise marketing and design.com please take just one little moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel i would truly truly appreciate that all right guys and gals so you should be doing content marketing in some way shape or form if you are building your brand online and you are looking for a way for people to come to you instead right so you can do either paid advertising which is more of a direct approach but it's going to cost you money obviously or I wouldn't even say or, I would say and you should also be creating content because the internet is made of content, right? What we do is we search for solutions to our problems. So we'll go to YouTube, we'll go to Google, we'll go to Facebook or Instagram to check out, you know, different product offers or different solutions to our problems. We'll type in a question and then Google will serve the most relevant answer. And so as a content marketer, you want to be the person that people look to as an expert to solve the problems that they are uh, trying to solve. But here's a problem that a lot of us face as, especially if we are more new at content marketing, and that is, and, and even if we're a little seasoned, okay, everybody goes through uh, content writer's block or content creator's block. We all go through it. We all need um, to derive inspiration from somewhere, right? Well, you can go and do keyword research. You can see what other influencers in your niche are doing and you can get ideas from that but i'll tell you what there is nothing like doing this one strategy that will help you pinpoint the exact content that you need to start creating for your audience and that is asking your audience now i know this is crazy right like we don't think to ask our audience or ask our peers but this is what is known as a survey, right? So you want to survey your audience. You want to, if you want to pinpoint and match the exact kind of content that your audience wants to consume, that they want to hear more about, that they're ready to purchase if you give them a more elaborate step-by-step -step version of your content in the form of a course or a masterclass or something like that, the best way to get that you know, get inside of your prospect's mind is to ask them. So there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. You can do polls on Facebook or you can, you know, send out an email and let people like reply to you. But I find that the most efficient way is to do it through an actual survey software. Now, what I do is something that I highly encourage that you start doing in your own marketing. This is something that I've done and it's extremely effective in learning what kind of content I should be creating for my audience. That is, you survey your list on the very first email. So. An example of what I do is I will, when someone opts into my email list, they will get the confirmation email, but then the very first email that they receive, it's kind of like that indoctrination email where you introduce yourself, you tell them a little bit more about you and what to expect, and you also include a survey. Now, 
you would be surprised how many people are willing to take a few minutes out of their day and actually answer this survey for you. But there's a lot of survey softwares out there and some of them are super duper pricey. I used to use SurveyMonkey, which is great if you have a very small audience, but as soon as you start getting more people to fill out your forms and if you are being consistent with your marketing, you will get more and more people signing up for your email list and more people submitting those forms, um, you're going to want to uh, have a software that is not going to be too uh, costly every single month. So I did my research and I really didn't like the pricing structure that that SurveyMonkey was offering me uh, for the paid plan, but I found a really great alternative, which I, I signed up for. I really like it. And honestly, I'm not even affiliate. They don't have like an actual affiliate program, but I thought I would share the information with you because... I think it's a really great software. And if you start to implement this little strategy, you will start to see that um, your, the clarity towards the content that you create for your audience is going to get even more fine tuned. Now I will just mention that even though this company does not have an affiliate program, I make absolutely no money by sharing with you this software. They do have a an incentive program where if you, you know, like if you follow them on Facebook or if you follow them on YouTube, things like that, they give you more submissions a month because as you'll see when I show you in a second, their pricing plans are based on a few criteria, one which is the amount of submissions that you get on a monthly basis. I'll show you the plan that I'm on right now, but um, I'm like, you know what, why not? As your list grows, you want to get more submissions. So instead of paying you in money as an affiliate, you know, if you really truly believe in the software and you do a few little things, you can earn uh, more submissions on your account, which I think is a really cool way to, you know, uh, reward people that believe in the program and that share it with others. So I just wanted to put that out there because I would have done the video anyway, but if I'm going to get more submissions, why not? So I figure I would just be completely open and transparent about that and let you know. Okay. So with that being said, let me show you the survey software that I'm using and let me give you an idea of different surveys that you can create to start getting that feedback from your audience. Or even if you're not building an email list, if you don't have an email list yet, you can survey your Facebook uh, timeline friends. You can just throw out a survey wherever you're at. You would be surprised how people are, they're, they're willing to fill out a form and, and help you out. So the, the, the hardest part is going to be you actually asking. So if you can get past that point, you'll be surprised at some of the information that you get back. It's going to help you a ton and it's going to help you help them, which is the ultimate goal of all of this. All right, guys and gals, let me show you the software that I'm using. All right, guys and gals, so here is the software that I'm talking about. It's called JotForm. Maybe because I am a web designer, I am a sucker for color and I just love their interface. It's just so friendly and inviting that I just, I just loved it. Uh, and it's very simple to navigate and it's very simple to see their plans and all their features and all that cool stuff. So, um, I really, really liked it after I started using it. Uh, and I signed up, I think within the first 24 hours so that I could take advantage of their 50% off offer. Now, I just want to go ahead and show you, uh, the pricing structure really quick. And I got on the bronze plan, but you can do so much on the free plan. And just so that you can see a comparison, I, I'm I'm such a visual person. When I see Jot Forum's uh, website and their pricing, and I see SurveyMonkey, I don't know, it just feels so boring and corporate. And maybe that's why I chose Jot Form. So if you're anything like me, and you love just like web uh, eye candy and stuff like that, I mean, you might like Jot Form too. Just the appearance of their interface, I feel is more user friendly for me. But anyhow, okay, so just so that you know, they have a starter plan and it's free and you can create up to five forms. You can have up to a hundred monthly submissions. You have a hundred megabytes of available space, a thousand monthly form views and 500 total submission storage, unlimited reports, fields perform. Uh, you can accept 
10 payment submissions, which is pretty cool. Um, now, if you're in the medical field or if you have a client, you have a, a web agency and you are working on a website for a client who's in the medical field, they do not have the HIPAA compliance forms. Um, so if, if that's of interest to you or of importance to you, then this may not be the right one for you. And also keep in mind that you'll have the job form branding, which kind of like eh, is uh, unprofessional looking if you are doing, uh, you know, like uh, if you're if you're building your brand. But hey, if if you are just getting started, start with the free, learn how to use it, and then you can upgrade. So I'm more of my list is like in the thousands. It's not in the really high thousands, but you know, it's in the thousands. So, uh, and I've got, you know, a pretty decent sized, uh, you know, platform as far as like over 7,000 subscribers on YouTube and I have th a few thousand followers on Facebook. So I need something that's already like can handle the type of, uh, in incoming information that I, that my business is attracting, right? So I have the bronze level. Now, if you paid monthly, uh, it's a little more pricey. So I was just like, you know, I'm going to pay the year, but while you're on the trial, this is going to go down to $12. Okay. So you're only going to pay. This is an insider secret, so get on the trial if you want to try the bronze, but you only have 24 hours to upgrade, so you've got to be like a quick action taker to take advantage of their 50% uh, coupon. And I don't know when you're watching this video, they may not even have that offer anymore, so I want to throw that disclaimer out there because this video, you know, in a year or two, they may not even have that anymore. But at the time of this video, which is in September of 2020, they do have a 50% offer if you pay the year while you're on the trial. So take advantage of that. So instead of paying 24, I paid $12 uh, a month uh, for the year and I paid the year in advance. So it's, uh, let's see, 12 times um 12 equals yeah it was like 144 or 174 something like that that i paid okay so make sure to check that out now this gives you 25 forms so you can create up to 25 forms and a thousand monthly submissions okay so then these are the amount of space that you get uh 10,000 monthly form views unlimited total submission storage unlimited reports of fields 100 payment submissions no HIPAA compliance and you can remove the branding, which I like. Um, and then these are the more advanced ones. But remember, um, I could have actually probably gotten this one. I didn't even realize that this silver was 29 a month. If I would have gotten 50% off, it probably would have been 200 bucks, but I'll see if I need it. Um, I could probably always upgrade or when I go to renew, I could always upgrade at this level, but it gives you a lot more. Um, and now I'm actually kicking myself for not <laughs> choosing the silver. But anyway, this is definitely the better deal. So if you are checking out the software, I would try to maybe do the silver with the 50% discount. You're going to save a lot of money and get a lot more for your money and you'll have the HIPAA compliance and all that good stuff. Okay. All right. So don't want to dwell too much more on their pricing structure, but I think it's very, very reasonable and uh, you could always start for free. This is something that I really love. They have card themes, which is the one that I use I use the card theme and so the card theme if you check it out well I'm not logged in but you can use this card theme right so if you use a card theme it's going to obviously create a different color scheme for you and then you can come over here and let's say you can add an element right and let's add an email right let's add a phone number all right so you can preview the form and it'll actually be a card on each slide, which I think looks super cool. It's really, really clean, really, really friendly. I really love it. It's super duper cool. Okay. Um, so let's go back. And once you're on the paid version, you can actually do your branding colors, which I have inside of my account. All right. But you can add different cool, uh, things to your form. Like you can, um, you know, like let's say you want to do like a coaching survey. You want to see if people are interested in coaching or you can use this as your application funnel as well. So for example, if you are a coach and you want to do a discovery call, you can use this as your discovery application. There's so many use is that you can use this you can do appointments here so if I close this out right here 
You can come over here and you can delete things. You can click on here and you can delete it. Or you can check out the property settings and on, on each uh, little item that you put in here. You can require a signature, okay? So that is really cool. So, you know, if you are um, doing a coaching contract, you can get somebody to sign right here from this little module right here. Um, another thing is if you are, you know, a retailer, you have an Etsy shop or something, you can send someone a form where you can, um, you know, feature one of your products. There's so many cool things that you can use, okay? And then there, if you want to do just a regular survey where you can have people, you know, sign in their information, type a question, uh, you have multiple choice, okay? Uh, super cool things. You can have people uh, upload a file. Uh, there's so many different things you can use. So if you're a web designer, you can ask people to, you know, submit their logos. There's so many ways that you can use JotForm, not only to get, uh, to create a survey for content purposes, but they're practical. Like if you just signed up someone to do their website and you need that uh, information from them and you need, you know, the photos for their website, you need all that stuff and you want to automate a lot of these things in your business, well, guess what? You could have the client drop their files uh, and upload them and uh, you can have all the project information right there. So there's a lot of really cool things that you can do. And this is one of my favorites. I think this is so cute. So you can say something like, how satisfied are you with your business at this time? And then you can uh, have them fill this out. And it's really cute uh, when you see people's answers. I, I really love that, okay? Um, and so you can come over here and click this out. And when you click on the little paint uh, brush over here, you can do different things with the form. Like you can customize it here. You can uh, use different pictures if you want. They have different pictures that you can put back here to further customize it, which I think is really cool. And uh, I'm not logged in, so it's going to keep prompting me. But you can click on custom. And so you can put your custom images and you can match your branding as well, which is super cool as well. And you could also put a video background if you want, you know, if you want to make it more interactive or whatever, depending on your niche and, you know, how creative you want to get. They have different options. And then you can choose the classic form, right? Or which is more like this, which is Meh, it's like it's okay right personally I like the card form so I would choose the card form because it's a single question per page it feels more interactive and faster to get through um, so I really really like that okay so let's go ahead and click on settings and this is really cool so here you can do conditional logic and I'm not going to get too deep into this, but if you, you know, if someone answers a question and you want to say, well, based on this answer, I want to send them somewhere else, right? You can do that with the conditional logic. Here's something that I really like a lot. And that is you can add your email and when someone submits the form, they will message you the information and you can get those results inside of your email, which is super cool. And you can also turn on uh, mobile app notifications for this form if you would like. And there are also third party integrations. So you can integrate it with, depending on the plan you're on, you can integrate it with Zoom, with Google Sheets, Slack, Google Drive, Dropbox, and a whole bunch of other cool things. So another thing here, if you come over here, if you click on show more options, okay, um, you can put password protection, you can encrypt the data. Um, another thing that I use is, uh, let's see, unique submission. No, another one that I put is, let's see, review before submit. I like to put review before submit because that means before they submit their final answers, they will get a little submit notification that will show them that you know what they answered before they hit the submit form and hit publish so i'm going to go ahead and just click on publish and i'm going to open this in a new tab so you can check out what the form looks like so i'm going to click over here and we're just going to run through the form okay so we're going to go ahead and run through the form and you'll see that this is what your prospect sees they see a little timeline which is super cool okay um and then sign so you agree to this coaching contract or whatever, you can get them to sign right there. Or you can display some products and get them to purchase right from here. 
or you can single answer question, etc., etc. They have a lot of cool things. You can even browse files, upload a file, okay, which is cool. And then that is great if you're a web designer, like I said, or you design logos or whatever, your clients can upload the uh, files from there. Okay, and then you can put I'm super happy or not so much, which is super cute. And then you can go click review and submit. And now this is the uh, review your answers before you submit. Boom, and then you submit and then you, you would get the actual form in your email, which is pretty cool. All right. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a sneak preview in my next video. I'll show you how to actually create some different kind of forms so that you can start collecting this information from your audience and how you can actually embed this into a funnel or into a website button so that you can start using these forms to get more fine tuned clarity for your business and you can serve your customers at a much higher level. All right, guys and gals. Well, how cool is that? I'm going to do a couple more videos um, pretty soon here showing you how to actually embed some of the forms in a funnel and some other ideas of how you can use this survey software to get a little more clarity uh, as far as like what your audience wants so that you can serve them at the highest level. Now, if you want to check out all the tools of the trade that I recommend, if you're building a digital business on online. I'll have a link for you right over here. You can visit my website at www.risemarketinganddesign.com and you can click on the tools and resources link inside of my website and I will have a list of all the tools that I use inside of my business to grow my digital marketing uh, business online. So let me know if you like that software. Let me know if you're using a different software. Uh, maybe I, I might do some sort of comparison video between SurveyMonkey and JotForm. I'm, I'm really liking JotForm. I like the interface better. I find it more more, I find it less cluttered. And so for me, who I'm a, I'm a very visual person, I need things kind of like easy to follow um, so that my mind doesn't get all garbled and stuff. So I really like the JotForm layout and their interface. And I love that they have the analytics and I love that they also have the option to email you the results, which maybe I didn't find that in SurveyMonkey, but I never saw that they could literally email you the results. I had to always log into the interface to see the results. And I really like that JotForm actually emails you the results. And so I'm a person that checks my email very frequently and uh, it'll tell you, hey, someone just submitted a form and you can see the answers right away without having to log into JotForm. So I really, that's an extra plus in my book. All right, guys and gals. Well, again, remember, if you want to check out all the tools that I use to build my digital business online, just head on over to www.risemarketinganddesign.com and go to the tools and resources link and you will find all of those listed right there. And I will also have a link for you to check out JotForm right below inside of the description box in my video. So you can you can go check it out. You can start it out for free. But I'll tell you, as your list starts to grow, and my list is like in the thousands. So as your list starts to grow, you'll, you'll want to upgrade to at least the bronze level. And here's a little secret. While you're on the trial, they're going to send you a 50% offer, which is what I did. And I saved 50% by paying the year. So I think I paid like $174 for the entire year. Not a bad deal. So make sure to check that out. All right, guys and gals, if you have any other questions or if you want any creative suggestions on how you can use surveys in your business, please leave your comments in the comments section below. All right, guys and gals. Well, anyway, I hope that this video helped you. If it did, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit that notification bell if you want to be alerted the next time that I upload a video to my YouTube channel. So with that being said, this has been Barbie Figueroa with Rise Marketing and Design.com. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on another video. Bye.